Hello and welcome back for another review. During this week of the uh, MTL or Mouth to Lung May, we'll be looking at this, the Just Fog Mini Fit. But before we get any further into this, quick chat about advocacy, as always. You know, I've got all the links down in the description below. Go check it out and go do the flavor survey. Don't do it later today, don't do it tomorrow, but do it straight after this video and let's just get it cracked out and let's fight this together. So this will be the box that it comes in. Uh, this is because it's in the UK. Uh, in America you probably won't be getting the, all this crap on here. So that's that. On the side you've just got the contents of the pack along with some of the ratings like the pod capacity and the resistance and everything else on the top you've just got the just fog on the side you've got some cautions on the bottom you've just got your usual crap there and on the back you've got your scratch and sniff at the top with their website what colours they come in? Red, silver and black. This one is the silver one. And then just more labelling at the bottom there. So if we open her up. A nice little pull cord here. So you just pull that out. And oh, everything's falling out. Put that to one side. You've got your world map of instructions in all the different languages. So you've got it in English, Netherlands, Italy, Slovenia, French, Spanish and Greek at the back. I won't go through it too much because we will be discussing it later on. But yeah, it's just your usual descriptions and destructions. Let's throw that away, right? So in the little sledge that you pulled out, you will get your charging cable. And you will get your pod and your device down here. So we'll get the device out. Let's have a quick look at that. Your charging is at the bottom there. This raised piece here is your fire button. And you've got your pod, which comes in a little condom. Just peel that off. Chip that to one side. So this is your pod, which holds 1.5 mil of liquid, and it is refillable through the bottom. You just lift this little tab up, like so, and then you've got two holes, one either side, to fill it. So you can put your juice in one hole, and the air will escape out the other, so you won't flood your coil, and therefore flood your airflow, and get juice all in your gob. Pull through the top as per usual, you've just got the, the usual whistle style mouthpiece there. Two air holes at the bottom there. To put it together you literally just slide it in place and that's that, ready to rock and roll. Press fire button to fire and you're ready to go. Now it's four clicks to turn it on and off. Then you've got three bulbs here. It'll illuminate three bulbs when the battery is fully charged. Two when you're about halfway charged and then just the one as your battery is starting to dwindle down 
to the last 25% and below, which is always very handy. So what do I think of this little pod system? Well, right, pros, I do like the fact that it's refillable, unlike some other pod systems that are out there. I do like the fact that you've got the three little light bulbs as your light indicators, as your battery life indicators, which is very handy so that you know how much battery life you've actually got left rather than just having to guess. I do like the fact that it's palmable, you know, it just disappears in your hand and it's very, very lightweight. You don't get any sort of leakage th from the refill area like you do with other pod systems. As for cons, pod and the mouthpiece section can actually get uh, a little bit warm on your lips if you're, uh, you know, if you use it excessively. It's difficult to see how much liquid you've got unless you hold it up to a light because of how dark this pod is. There is next to no flavour from this pod system. Uh, I don't know what they have done or if I've just got a bad pod, but it you can't taste any of the juices through it. Um, the cotton, it, it doesn't last very long. Again, this might just be because I've got a bad pod, but I've gotten not even halfway through. I don't know if you can see there. You know, I've gotten about halfway through the second fill and it's already given me burn taste. So, as for longevity life-wise of the pod, it's not that great. Because you've got the fire button on the side and it's, it's raised above the rest of the device, it's quite easy to accidentally press it while it's in your pocket. Uh, I've not had this happen to me because I'm switched on and I turn turn it off before I put it in my pocket but if you're in a rush and you forget to or anything you know it, you could accidentally fire it in your pocket it does have a 10 second cut off but you know the, the damage will already be done by this point and it's got quite noisy airflow uh, I don't know if you can hear this but uh, yeah it's it it's noisy right so price wise for the device in the box that you see, that we've been through uh, with the charging cable and one pod, it's twenty pounds. And as for the pod systems, you're looking at about nine pound ninety nine, ten pounds for three pods. And I will leave some links in the description below as to where you can pick those up. So yeah, please go and check out the description below go check out the links for the advocacy and everything else that's down there uh, bing bong go turn it on because YouTube is not the best at letting subscribers know every video that gets uploaded uh, like and subscribe as per always you know it, it really does help out and in the words of Ron Burgundy thanks for stopping by and uh, remember Choose clouds over cancer.